This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, brought to you via YouTube. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to our YouTube page, with the promise in the future that at different times we'll have subjects that are only available to those who subscribe. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. From dope land back to Thailand, if reports from the Ministry of Health are to go ahead, this is they've clearly stated that despite the pop-up of numerous shops selling marijuana for recreational use, the actual use of cannabis and hemp for recreational purposes is not allowed in Thailand. That then is added to the ban on weed in all educational campuses, the smoking in any public place, use in any food without warning customers, and the growth of multiple plants by households. When the news first broke that it was to be removed from the list of illegal drugs, many went crazy with the idea that Thailand would become Amsterdam, but on a grander scale. That seemed to have happened too, but the state, well, they're about to clamp down on it for sure. In Ubon Ratchatani, a local mayor of a sub-district who wasn't internet savvy, trusted the city's bank accounts to an underling, who, according to reports, availed himself of in excess of 31 million baht before fleeing. It seems that the 36-year-old had called in sick since the first week of the month and others only later spotted the huge shortfall. Reports indicate he'd been helping himself since the start of May, making 47 withdrawals without anyone even noticing. A fire in an overcrowded slum area in the capital has seen upwards of 100 people offered refuge at a local youth centre following a blaze that lasted over two hours engulfing multiple homes. Compensation from the state, 10,000 for homeowners and 6,000 for tenants, has been offered as many are facing the prospect of never returning to their former dwellings. Safety and the danger of fire spread has often been ignored in Bangkok slum areas, which in fact often resemble townships, with shops and an awful lot more. An estimated 10,000 people live in the area where the fire started, and fire engines were hampered by narrow and blocked lanes combined with a shortage of fire hydrants. It's back to the traditional motorcycle taxis in Thailand as the land office has effectively blocked grab bike drivers from operating from profit unless they acquire yellow plates as required by taxis. Tens of thousands of delivery drivers face the prospect of no legal work after the middle of next month as Grab has written to them all stating that they expect to have to fire anyone without the proper registration of their bikes with the Department of Land Transport. The main effect? Food deliveries they'll have to go back to employing their own staff, which could see price hikes. And the owner of the franchising company, Daruma Sushi, was nabbed as he returned to Thailand yesterday. He faces claims that he took a fortune from people buying food vouchers and running franchises for his eateries. 27 branches closed overnight and remained so after the server system was cut by the main company and deliveries ran dry. On arrival, he was separated from over 700,000 baht cash that he was carrying and told police that he denied fraud, but that the company had simply gone bust. Meanwhile at home, and the city woke to heavy rain again today, seeing water levels rising in places, and drivers are advised throughout the day to allow extra time for journeys. The owner of a Rottweiler that mauled a toddler in the street, leaving him needing 200 stitches, may face criminal charges, The dog was allowed to roam freely around its South Patia home, the owner oblivious to the danger. Sadly, the maximum fine is only 10,000 baht. However, the lad's French father and Chinese mother are likely to sue for damages. He's been released from ICU. And the record claim for a stolen gold necklace in the city goes to another Indian tourist this week. He reported to police that he'd been out for a stroll in the city at 1.30 in the morning and just happened to be smart enough to wear a gold necklace with a stated value of 100,000 baht. That, he reported, was taken from him by a transsexual offering him warmth. A reminder that CCTV operates in much of the city, and police are due to review that to see if the claim is remotely genuine. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31 degrees dropping down to 25, and the guarantee of storms throughout the day, local and national news today... From Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, 
fabulous Patia Media Group by using the link below.